Well, welcome to the darkest hours. Uh, go ahead and introduce yourself to the crazy creeps at home and tell us what you do. I'm Jim Ojula, uh, owner of Ojula Productions, makeup and creature effects. Oh, fantastic. I bet you had your hands full on this project then. I did. I did. Full of severed bodies, exploding heads, and uh, yeah, electrocutions, among other things. Yeah, vaginal bear traps, all kinds of fun. The, the usual. Exactly, yeah. What were some of the more challenging effects to pull off? Uh, one of the most challenging was um, sawing the character of Bristol completely in half which we hadn't really seen in a movie before. Right. So that was kind of a challenge. We had to do a full life cast of her and figure out how we could take a real 30 inch saw blade oh, and saw her from crotch to top of head, completely in half, separate it, and have the blood squirting down and everything. And it was, the fine, when you see it, it it's pretty damn intense. Yeah, it, it'll blow your mind. Favorite, so. as far as effects go, what's your favorite medium to work in? Are, are you uh, more of a sculptor, uh, more of a prosthetic uh, um, engineer? Yeah, engineering prosthetics of different types and applying them and painting and, and, and also as well as making rigs, like figuring out, like, holy crap, how do we make, there's a guy that does an electrocution in here, how do we make his tongue melt? Like, right. shit, you know, I was like, I've never seen anybody's tongue melt on screen. How do we do that? And like, me and my buddy Scotty, who is my assistant, we were in the hotel room doing tests, messing up the whole hotel room, figuring out how the hell are we going to make somebody's tongue melt? And finally we came up with it, you know, so... Um, oh, that's terrific, and I, I'm definitely a big fan of the special effects artists, uh, especially in the horror world, because they do, uh, and even more in the independent horror scene, because they really take the risks and they go for, uh, you know, things that have just never been seen before. Well, and more independents are, are sticking to doing practical effects, you know. One, for budget reasons, and a lot of the kids that grew up with practical effects movies, they realize that it still holds up. It still is better than most of the CG effects. As far as, you know, any makeup and creature effects, you know, it doesn't look like a video game, so. He took the words right out of my mouth. Uh, of course, I've, I've said that many times on our show. Um, CG, I, I believe, is overrated and used too much. It's good when it's used for yeah. the right reasons. Totally. But, yeah, when you see uh, an actual creature or an actual effect happening, it, it, there's just something magical about exactly. it. Exactly. You want a crazy, red, stormy background? Go ahead, do some CG. You want a saw girl in half? Call me. <laughs> you know? Done. <laughs>